Let's further discuss this now with Kadir Ustun. He is the executive director of the SETA Foundation in Washington, D.C. It's a pleasure having you on the program, sir. Now, back in 2019, Turkey launched Operation Peace Spring, as we know, and that's when Sweden and Finland imposed that arms embargo on Turkey. We know that Turkey is planning to launch a similar operation in Syria in the near future. Does this memorandum guarantee that the Nordic countries won't take similar steps against Turkey? More or less, it should guarantee that, you know, Sweden and Finland will no longer support YPG. Uh, they've committed to that and they've also committed to a monitoring mechanism. So that to today's agreement was very significant. We should underline that first. And this is a message to the broader sort of uh, European community, as well as the United States, uh, about how serious Tur Turkey is about its uh, concerns over uh, terrorism because, you know, the PKK recruitment, uh, fundraising and other activities throughout Europe have been happening for many, many years. And this shows today's uh, sort of uh, agreement shows how Tur Turkey is serious about this and it will continue to press uh, its allies in within NATO, uh, its countries throughout Europe to really push back against these activities. And if Turkey said Tur Turkey set out to do another operation in northern Syria, I don't find I don't think that Sweden and Finland and others will will have uh, really be will be able to criticize Turkey. Do you think pressure from members of these terror organizations on government officials will eventually result to the amendment of the agreement? And this, of course, after uh, Sweden and Finland becoming official members of the alliance? Once they become uh, official members of the alliance, I think uh, these debates will continue. T Turkey did not bring up this issue only a couple months ago. It has been arguing this within the NATO alliance. It has been calling on various uh, member states to do more on the terrorism uh, front. And it also, you know, consistently argued for many years now, it doesn't buy the argument that the YPG in northern Syria is is a different organization than the PKK. It's simply the Syrian branch of the PKK. So uh, President Erdogan has shown once again how determined he is and he won't give up even if it means uh, being kind of ostracized at the, as the disruptor within NATO, because I think many commentators were preparing to make that argument if Turkey uh, blocked uh, Finland and Sweden's membership. Uh, I think the announcement of the monitoring mechanism, verification mm -hmm. mechanism, mm -hmm. was also significant. And that shows Turkey will continue to have these um, dialogues with these countries. But I, I, I expect that this will uh, be reflected in mm -hmm. the new uh, strategic concept paper, and Turkey will continue to talk about this. Right. As you mentioned, the problem is way beyond Sweden uh, and Finland, and it still poses a great threat to uh, Turkey's security here. What further steps can we see Turkey make in the near future in an effort to guarantee its own security? Turkey is, has been focused on creating a um, corridor in northern Syria that is free of Daesh and PKK militants. It has been also focused on pushing the United States to drop its support for the YPG because it legitimizes PKK. Uh, Western support has been channeled uh, through uh, through northern Syria to PKK's uh, extensions in northern Syria. And uh, I think until it feels fully secure along its border, uh, which means for Turkey to create something like uh, 10 kilometers or uh, more mm -hmm. uh, it belt along the Turkish-Syrian border. So that's the kind of... Uh, goal on the ground. Uh, but I think legitimation of 
the PKK in the eyes of the West was the bigger danger in many ways because some countries even started talking about delisting the PKK and today's agreement really uh, sort of puts it on the paper once again that this will never happen and these countries will actually cooperate with Turkey. Of course, mm -hmm. you know, words are words. These promises uh, better not be broken in the future because if, if they are, then we will have more uh, arguments back and forth right. between uh, Turkey and Western allies. All right, Kadir Üstün, it's always a pleasure speaking to you. Thank you so much for your contributions. Thank you.